Hi there, my name is Alan Cowan Moore and I am the Curriculum Head for Travel and Tourism at the City of Glasgow College. It's my pleasure to welcome you as a student onto one of the HNC or HND Travel and Tourism courses that we offer. I very much hope that you're looking forward to your year ahead and I hope that you're looking forward to being successful. This video is part of a collection that we've put together on this website to give you an idea of what to expect when you come to college. Um, the main points I'm going to talk about today are enrolment, um, your next steps such as funding, um, how the course might look for you over the course of the next academic session and what to expect in the first couple of weeks. Um, <clears throat> uh, below this video you'll be able to um, tune in to see um, Lynn, Maureen and Moya discuss some of the units um, that are available on the second year course and uh, Lynn's focuses on the um, some of the study skills, the research skills that you can apply to both first year and second year units. Um, so this video is part of our getting ready for college events. So what we um, use this for is to try and help you understand what to expect um, and really help you to prepare as best as possible for a positive um, and a fulfilling experience with us when you come um, to college. First of all, before I get started on any of the, the content, I'd like to just ask anyone who has um, not yet enrolled but has a definite offer, please enroll as soon as possible. Um, for any of you who have enrolled, then I would just like to say thank you. Thank you for taking the time to do so. Now that you have enrolled, if you have done so, you should be able to see your Block 1 timetable. Unfortunately, at this point, Block 2 and Block 3 are not yet prepared. However, they should be set up and running within the next um, few weeks or months. Um, however, Block 1 is good to go. Um, the subjects that you see on there and the lecturers assigned to you um, are not likely to change that much. However, what I would say is that all timetables are always subject to change. Um, however, at this point, it's very likely if any changes do happen, they will be um, minor changes um, and, um, and shouldn't cause too much disruption to you. So the next step, folks, whether you've enrolled or not enrolled, is to make sure that you've got your funding um, applications in for the course, okay? You can do that by visiting SAS, so the Student Awards Agency for Scotland website. And you can also um, speak to them about taking a student loan from the student, um, uh, student Loans Company for Scotland. So I'm just going to talk just a f for a few moments about the, the structure of the course. So a few moments ago, I spoke about the different blocks on the course. We've got block one, block two and block three. So block one um, is going to be starting in August. So on the 31st of August, your full time course with us will start. For two weeks, you will go through an induction process. And then on the 14th of September, you will start academic classes and be in your classes with lecturers um, working your way through um, the curriculum that we have for you. So during each block, you will study five units. You will also be assigned what we call an academic advisor. So the academic advisor is your first point of call for any problems, issues, questions or concerns that you have about your course. And you should be available to attend those sessions which will usually take place between either 12 and 1 p.m. or 4 and 5 p.m. We understand that students have to work, we all have to pay bills. However, we do have a full-time course. The course is Monday to Friday, 9 to 5. We um, don't expect you to be in college or studying for the entire time, but we do expect you to t attend all classes um, between the hours of 9 to 5. And any time that's not timetabled, we do expect you to um, work this around your personal life, but also to ensure that you get all the work done for either class work that you've been assigned by your lecturer or to complete any assignments that you've been asked to do. Well, let's focus just on block one for us for a second though. So block one will be delivered entirely online. The learning and teaching will certainly all take place in an online setting, a little bit like this one. We use also systems such as Zoom, 
Wakelet, ClickView. We have a virtual learning environment that we call My City. Um, this is this has been set up and has been running for quite some time. Um, it's an ex excellent resource, and it should also be the the first point of contact for students to find out um, what they need to know in order to help them to complete assessments or to understand what it is that they need to do um, to meet the needs and the demands of the class that they are in. So block one will be taught um, remotely for our HN students. There won't be any physical class contact. However, we may ask you to come in from time to time to complete assessments that cannot be done from a distance. There may also be a need for you to come into college should you need to speak to your guidance lecturer um, who will be assigned to you um, via your timetable. So block one, we are planning for delivering um, from a distance. Um, things change. We don't know what's going to happen in the future with regards to the COVID crisis that's currently gripping the country. However, we are hoping very much so that we will be back in the building in block two and block three and hopefully delivering in physical classrooms with so social distancing, of course, um, to ensure that your experience um, is as good as it possibly can be. But let me stress that the college is making lots of plans to ensure that you are safe and that when you are physically allowed to come back to the building, that that is done so in a way that reduces any risk of that, the virus spreading amongst our student population. That is very important to us. Um, and therefore, this is the reason why Block 1 will be delivered um, remotely. So I touched a minute ago on what to expect when you join us. So there are two weeks of induction or freshers week, if you like, um, where there will be online modules to do. Um, really, these online modules will be things like what the building looks like, where to access any help that you might need, um, how to access the systems that the college use, um, also an introduction to some of the technologies that we might use as well. So whilst there's no academic content within the first two weeks, you will be required to complete some tasks that will help you to navigate the rest of your college experience, your student career with us whilst you're studying at the college. The block system will then commence on the 14th of September and will likely run right up until the um, 18th or later um, of June. That's enough from me. What I'd like you to do now is to take a few minutes of your time to scroll down the website here and to hear from um, our lecturers, some of the lecturers who teach on the course. Um, I'd just like to leave you with a, a message of um, gratitude. Thank you for taking the time to watch these videos, to read through this website and to make yourself aware um, of what you can expect to experience when you come to us on the 31st of August. Have a lovely summer and I will see you then.